In today's tutorials, we're going to be talking a little bit about Google Analytics and how to install it on your website and get started. So the first thing you need to do is create your Google Analytics account and get your tracking code. If you already have a Gmail account, a Google Plus account, a YouTube account, any Google account, because Google has universal login, you already have a Google Analytics account as well. If you don't have any type of Google account, you will have to create one, but that's going to be useful for other things anyway. So I'm already logged in to my Google account, so I can just go to google.com forward slash analytics and go click on Access Google Analytics. And you'll see I already have several accounts that I already have set up for various different websites that I own as well as different clients. You probably won't see anything here if you've never set up Google Analytics because you don't have an analytics account yet. So what you want to do is go to admin. And you'll see you have account and property and view. You want to start with account, and we're going to go to create new account. Now, if you have multiple websites that you own, then you're going to want to create them all under one account. So your account name is going to be your business name or your personal name. And then your individual websites will be listed under properties. So you'll have a different property for each website. So if you have a website for two different books, or if you have a main website and then an affiliate website or whatever, in general, I usually recommend to my clients that you have one website, but sometimes you do need more than one for various reasons. So each of those individual ones will be a different property. So in this case, we're going to just enter in the account name, the website name, and then you need to enter in the URL. Make sure you enter it in with uh, the www, and then you're going to select your industry category. In this case, it's for an artist, so it's going to go under Arts and Entertainment. Make sure that your time zone is set to the correct time zone that you're in. I'm in Eastern Time, so I'm going to set that there. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to track. You could do something at a particular time and see a big result, but if you don't have the correct time zone set up, it might be confusing or hard to figure out what is causing the result for you. The next section is the da data sharing settings, and all of these are automatically checked. Uh, I recommend that you leave these. These just help Google build better tools and create better products for you and service you better. They're not going to share this data. It's not individualized to you. It's just uh, aggregated data that helps them improve all of their Google services. So I recommend you just leave all of that checked. And then click Get Tracking ID. Now you're going, they're going to ask you to read through some terms of service. And if I've never used this before, I always recommend that you do actually review these terms of service so you understand them. Um, but once you know what they are, click I Accept. And then that's going to give you your tracking code. So this code is what you're going to use on your website to help you install Google Analytics, which is what we're going to talk about in the next tutorial.